What's up, everyone? Happy Thursday. We are back to our morning rides over here at Crossroads Farm. This is where all the Christmas trees were. And uh, they're all sold out now. And we're over here at the farm. I want to show you guys around a little bit. Talk to you a little bit about um, end of the year donations. So, a bunch of people did well this year. Maybe you were uh, in crypto and made some money. Uh, maybe you were in real estate and made some money. Um, I know the pandemic has hurt some people, but it also has uh, um, made a lot of people profitable. So, if you made a bunch of money this year and you're going to pay a bunch of taxes... Rather than give it away, make a donation. Uh, Crossroads Farm is a nonprofit, uh, 501c3. Um, donations are tax deductible. Deductible. Um, you could visit the website, crossroads-farm.org, and uh, help the farm out. So the farm is um, the property itself is owned by the county. It's kind of was purchased with some open air money type funds, uh, but it's not run by the county. It's run by the Nassau Land Trust, uh, who I happen to be a board member of. And the, uh, the land trust does not receive any funding from outside sources other than uh, donations, grants, and the money we earn. So just because the county owns it doesn't mean they give us any money towards it. They help with some repairs here and there and whatnot, but they don't help our operations. So farming is a tough business. And... Um, it's kind of hard because it's only uh, seasonal and um, there's a lot of work and uh, it's a labor of love and Crossroads needs your support. So as the year ends and you made some money this year, uh, think about making a donation. Crossroads-farm.org and uh, rather than pay tax and give that money away, uh, help out your local farm. So here's the barn here. This barn's over 100 years old. Uh, we've done some restoration work on it. It's got a new roof on it. They just built this new, um, what do you want to call it? Portico, pergola, whatever you want to call it. We got a hoop house here. So on Saturday mornings, we have the farm Resuming. market. And we have that out here in the field. And this greenhouse here is where we do our seeding. So uh, beginning of the season, uh, starting next couple months, we'll start seeding in here and start growing all the starts. And they will get planted out into the fields. Pausing. We got the orchard over here. Resuming. Um, apple and pear and whatnot, trees in here. They're starting to uh, actually get to the point where they're going to start producing. And then... Uh, Pausing. You got the uh, hay wagon here. You got to get all the beds here. Uh, all the way back. All the way back to that brick building back there, all the way around, all along the road there. Um, it's just a little over four acres, something like that. Uh, not a huge farm. Uh, certified organic, and again, a nonprofit. This is run with the labor of love. So, uh, if you're uh, if you did well this year and you're going to pay a bunch of taxes, rather than pay a bunch of taxes, make a donation over here. Crossroads-farm.org. It's a great organization. Um, you can also come volunteer here. Uh, check out the website, same thing, crossroads-farm.org. Uh, you can volunteer, you can help out. Um, a lot of good stuff you could do for this farm. Uh, again, a nonprofit, uh, certified organic. So it is a uh, good way to uh, avoid paying some taxes. If you're going to pay taxes anyway, you might as well give some of that money to a, a nice charity. So uh, there's your message of the day. Uh, end of the year, what are you donating to? Um, we donate time, we donate energy throughout the year, but as we come down to uh, the end of the year for tax purposes, uh, think about making a donation to your favorite charity. Uh, this is one that I happen to be involved with. Uh, it's a great organization. I've been involved with it, I don't know, a bunch of years now, eight years, something like that, I think. And um, they do good things down here. We have events when it's not COVID, we have events down here. And uh, we bring the community together. Uh, all good stuff. All right, so... Is your matches? Think about it. Think about it. You're going to pay tax. So uh, if you had a decent year and you're going to pay some tax, make a donation and pay a little less tax. 
How's that sound? All right. So let's jump in prayers. In the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us as we finish out this year strong to help us think of those that are uh, around us that could use some financial incentives. Um, help us to ease our tax burden. Um, help us to think of those other than ourselves and those surrounding us and help us to be a good steward of the community and uh, help us to just keep doing good things for everyone around us. Amen. All right. Last Thursday of the year and uh, we're getting our ride in. We're back to the morning rides. We did a couple evening rides, but uh, we're doing mornings again. So, uh, day 213, lucky number 13. And, uh, yeah, we're moving along on this journey. So, uh, I just want to say I appreciate you all. Stay tuned a little bit later on. I'm going to get on with my buddy Thomas Keenan. We're going to make him go live. We're going to get some goals for the new year. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll talk a little bit later. Uh, I'm going to see him and um, bring you some fire. So... All right, everyone, have a great day. Put your head in a pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go. Go be an inspiration to the world.